Meteor Multitrack Recorder for the iPad supports audio interfaces with multiple inputs and outputs. In this video, we're going to demonstrate a couple of the interfaces that are compatible with Meteor. For those on a tight budget, we highly recommend the Alessis IO4. This has four mono inputs, which can be paired as two stereo inputs and two stereo outputs. The Alessis IO4 also features MIDI in, MIDI out, XLR and jack inputs for each channel, including phantom power. To connect the IO4 to the iPad, you will need an Apple camera connection kit. Alternatively, iPad 4 users will need to purchase a USB to lightning connector. An alternative interface with better quality DACs but requiring a larger budget is the Apogee Duet for iPad. Be careful when purchasing this interface as there are two versions. The iPad compatible Duet comes with a 30 pin port for the iPad 1 to 3. An optional adapter can be used for the iPad 4. If your audio interface supports multiple inputs, Meteor enables you to select the input channel from the audio in-out dialog, which is located in the selected tracks controller lane. In this case, with the IO4 connected, we have four mono inputs available. Seasoned Meteor users will be accustomed to using the arm button to record and enable a single track. To record multiple simultaneous tracks, you need to change the audio record mode on the options menu to multi-track. At this point, you will notice there are no armed tracks. To record enable a track in multi-track mode, you must arm each track separately from the audio in-out dialog. In this example, I'm assigning each of the IO4's mono inputs to separate mono tracks. Press the record button to begin monitoring each of the armed tracks, then press play to start recording. Congratulations, you've now learnt how to use the multi-track record mode. In previous versions of Meteor, connected audio bus inputs would have been recorded to a single track. Meteor now allows you to specify a track for each connected application. In this example, we have assigned Sunrise Synth to track 1 and Animoog to track 2. Now arm the record button and press play to start recording. You can use the audio bus remote control panel to start and stop Meteor recording. <laughs> 